Hey guys, it's me Sylvia, back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button before you forget, before you lose me in this big internet world, and hit the bell while you're at it. Turn those notifications on so you can be notified. I drop a new video every single Sunday, and a bonus video throughout the week, so you don't wanna miss out. Today's video is gonna be a lot of fun. We're doing a Get Ready With Me style video. I haven't done one of these in a while, but they're probably one of my favorite videos to film. I get to just sit, be chill with you guys, you know, do my thing, my makeup, my hair, get dressed. Things I do pretty regularly. Now I get to do it with you guys. And for the whole type of look, I'm gonna be just be doing like my regular thing, like my go-to kind of makeup that I've been doing lately with like the products that I've been loving, my go-to like outfit, something simple that I just throw on and I know it's gonna look cute. And my go-to hair when I actually want it to look like I did something with it and not just like flat and fried looking like normal. You know? So let's get started. Now for the clothing aspect of this video, I'm gonna be choosing a cute outfit that I got from ThreadUp. I am partnering up with them for this video, so a huge thank you to them. I got some really, really cute stuff. If you haven't heard about ThreadUp, it's basically one of the largest online marketplaces for buying and selling secondhand clothes. They have a ton of amazing brands, like high-end brands, any type of brand you can imagine, they probably have it, honestly. And they constantly update their items like at all times, so you can always find some really cute stuff, you know? If you're an online shopping addict like me, so this time around, I got quite a few items from them. You know, summer's around the corner. I needed some cute clothes. And the package it comes in is so cute. It has like these adorable green polka dots on it. And you open it up and it says, enjoy, which is so adorable. The outfit I'm gonna wear for this video is like this really, really cute blouse dress. I got it because it's so easy to just throw on when you don't want to think of an outfit, but you still want to look cute. I love like shirt dresses, oversized t-shirts, like sweater dresses, all that is like my go-to, especially when I want to look cute, but I don't want to put effort in, you know what I mean? And then I also found like this really cute fringe vest. I was looking for a dark fringe vest for so long and couldn't find one that wasn't bulky, like super, super bulky since I'm so tiny. And this one's perfect, so I was really happy to find that one. I love fringe for the summer, it's just like classic. ThreadUp is offering my S Club the most amazing discount. You guys, we get 40% off our first order, which is amazing considering the prices are already so marked down. Just click the link in the description and enter the promo code. And when shopping with ThreadUp, you're gonna sign up for the site, then you're gonna enter your sizes and search for the brands that you love. And they're all up to 90% off in like new condition. So from there, you can go crazy and shop your little heart out. So I'm gonna prime my skin first. You guys know I've been I've been reaching for this guy for a minute now, a hot minute. I've been loving it. It's the Guerlain Lore Primer. It has a little gold flex in it. It makes me feel so fancy. And it's gonna be like vital and giving us that nice glowy base that I want for this makeup look. And for foundation, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Pro Glow. It'll definitely last through a hot summer day without budging and still giving you that super nice dewy complexion. It gives you such good full coverage, but it still has that like satin finish so your skin and looks so good. I find that any other foundation that claims to give you like a nice dewy complexion is just too greasy feeling for me and doesn't give me enough coverage and this does not feel like that. Now since I get an oily t-zone I'm gonna immediately set it with my translucent powder from Laura Mercier and I'm using a puff just to really press it into those areas so it can set it and it can control that oil all day long in that summer heat that we're expecting hopefully soon. I don't know what I'm talking about it's still like cold where I am. <laughs> And now for concealer, I've been using the Naked Skin Urban Decay Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. I really like how much coverage it gives me, but I use it when I don't want a completely matte face, like today when we're doing something more glowy. So it's gonna go really well with that Pro Glow foundation. And I'm gonna prime my lids using the Benefit Air Patrol just cause this one is like a lighter consistency. And I kind of prefer that over what I usually use, which is the MAC Paint Pot when it's like a hot summer day or I wanna do like a more no makeup makeup look type of thing. For brows, I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Brow Beater, which is funny because this is the one that Charles picked out for me when we did the boyfriend buys my makeup challenge but I actually really really like it and ever since I bleached my brows This is like the only one that's like a light enough color for my brows So I've been just using it pretty much like every day I like to make my brows look a little bit longer than they actually are since I don't have that much hair growing out at the front here So I just go really really lightly and imitate like little brow hairs with the pencil I don't like that they stop like right there. And I'm just gonna set them with my Anastasia brow gel. This is like the only brow gel I use, honestly. It doesn't coat my brow hairs too thick since they're already coarse AF. And it's not like sticky or goopy or anything like that. It just sets them really nicely. Just to brighten up my under eye, I'm gonna add some of the banana powder from the Anastasia contour kit. And this is also gonna help to set the concealer because we did not do that yet. And I'm gonna bring this all the way up to the bridge of my nose because it's gonna help to give the illusion of a more narrow, straight kind of nose. To bronze, I'm using the Benefit Hula Bronzer. My dogs kind of chewed it up, so ignore that. I'm really just not gonna be shy with the bronzer. For blush, I'm using Wild Honey from Becca. This is my holy grail blush. I literally love it for any look. It's like 
just got a little bit more pink to it than a bronzer would. So I just love it for like a sun-kissed kind of natural glow. It just looks so beautiful with a bronzer. It just like melts together so flawlessly. Love it. For highlight, I'm using Ofra Blissful Highlight. This never lets me down. It is the most blinding highlight. You really do not need a lot at all. Just the pigment is insane. Just look at that. I didn't even have to double dip. Also when I'm doing like a more glowy look, I'll put a little bit on my forehead, like where the light would hit. Now I'm gonna put just the tiniest bit on the bridge of my nose where I kind of have the dips in my nose to bring them forward to make my nose look a little bit more straight. And normally people like to put it on the tip of their nose, but because my nose is so round, I don't like to like accentuate that. Before we go in with any eye makeup, I'm gonna be using Tatcha's Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. It does such a great job. But if you have eye makeup on or anything that you, you don't really want to get like luminous, then it kind of makes it smudge. So I find it a lot easier to just use it beforehand. It smells so good. Now all over my lid, I'm gonna be using Desert Sands from Makeup Geek. I'm gonna apply that literally everywhere. And I'm using a big fluffy flat brush because I don't need it to be too precise. I just want it to be nice and easy and quick and just give my lid some color. And I'm just gonna give myself like a little bronze dye here. And I'm gonna wing it out. And I'm just gonna bring that on my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna go in with Americano to create like a smoky wing. When I don't wanna do like a really harsh, precise wing, smoking out a wing is my favorite thing to do. To kind of foolproof it and prevent any fallout, anything like that, I usually like to use like a playing card or a post-it note or really anything that I've sanitized and that has a flat edge to it. So this makes it a little bit easier unless you wanna clean it up with concealer after, but this kind of just helps skip a step. See, and it literally gives you like a flawless sharp wing. And then I'll just kind of run over it a few times with the brush so it blends really nicely into that base shadow we used. Now I'm just gonna connect the wing to the lower lash line. For mascara, I'm gonna be using The Shock by YSL. This just coats my lashes really, really quickly and makes them really thick and long. For lashes, I'm using Samantha Number no. 7 Lashes from Huda Beauty. I used these in my last video and I fell in love with them, so we're gonna use them again today. So lashes are on, the glue's still drying, but these are like my favorite lashes right now, I'd have to say, so I gotta get me some more. Now for lips, I'm gonna use Strip Down and Skinny Dip. This is the Tarte Reinforced of this, what is it, Tarte what? Reinforced of the what? I've been wearing this like nonstop. I wore it all Coachella weekend. It's like the perfect nude lip. So that's basically it for makeup. This is like my bronzy, really glowy, dewy skin look. I've been doing it a lot lately and I thought I'd share it with you. So for my hair, I usually just like to curl it like in really big waves. And then after that, you can basically do whatever you want with your hair and it looks like that much better. Right now I'm gonna go in with some dry shampoo. This is the Dove one. It's my favorite one. This is just gonna make my hair way more textured at my root. So it's not gonna be as like flat and it's gonna soak up all that oil and make it look a lot fresher because it ain't so fresh right now. <laughs> So usually you wait a couple minutes and then you can brush it out and it'll get rid of all that whiteness. Otherwise, you're gonna look like a granny. So I usually part my hair to the side and then I'll kind of tease the areas where I want it to have more volume. So this side of my head is always flat, but I won't do it really, really tight because I don't want to ruin my hair or break it too much. It already has way too many broken pieces. <laughs> it'll mess up the curls if you do it after. All right, and I'm basically just gonna curl. I'm not going too in depth with this. I just wrap the hair around once and I'll run it back and forth so the curl isn't too tight. And then once it's been in there for only a couple seconds, I'll let it go and it'll give me like the most loose wave ever and that's what I want. I want it to look very effortless and like there's barely a curl there. Some pieces I'll do forward, some pieces I'll do backwards. I'll just switch it up so then the waves aren't all going in the same direction and it looks a little more messy that way. And that's basically all there is to it. Oh, I totally forgot to use my serum. I usually use this beforehand. Just do a pump of that and run it only on my ends and then it'll make my split ends look less noticeable and also help prevent against heat damage. So after I'm done my curls, I'll just go in with some hairspray to help hold the curls in place and also helps to make my hair look a little bit more volumized. And this just makes it look even more kind of bedhead and messy and effortless. So this is everything all put together with my outfit. Don't forget to click the link in the description if you wanna check out Thread Up. You guys will definitely see me rocking this look like all summer long. I don't know what it is, but I've been obsessed with this eye makeup and like this glowy skin. I'm all about like vests and jackets and just quick cover-ups too in the summer. So this outfit is like a good generalization of what my kind of go-to spring slash summer outfit would be too. So that's all for now. If you guys missed my last upload, make sure you click the box down below me to watch it. And if you watch this whole thing and you are not 
subscribed yet, what are you doing? Hit the bubble in the corner of the screen to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.